Okay guys, uh, I thought uh, maybe I'd uh, give you a quick rundown of some other musical kind of instrument gifts, noise makers that I've made for my kids and uh, nephews and nieces. And so the first one's a uh, kind of like a little xylophone and basically it is uh, made out of aluminum bar and uh, just on a piece of oak and I kind of routed out just little channels and drilled some holes and used some string that is not elastic at all. It's like a really strong string to hold down and suspend the, the bars so they kind of float. They're kind of floating above those channels. And then I just took a Sharpie and labeled each one. So it's not a chromatic scale, it's just the, the notes without sharps or flats. And then I tied off the, uh, the strings on the back side. So anyway, um, so the interesting thing is, is they stay pretty much put where, where they're at. You can kind of shift them back and forth just slightly if you really muscle them around. Um, but you can tell that the sustain, like the note sustains itself quite a long time. And that's not necessarily desirable, so some things I've tried was uh, putting uh, like rubber bands underneath them and that kind of helps a little deaden the sound a little bit. Um, and another thing I tried is uh, so that does help a little bit. Let me get the rubber band under there a little farther. I did put some felt under there. I didn't really like how the felt went. Um, so I think I probably have some improvements to do, but. But it's really loud, almost annoyingly so, so I don't think it's gonna get a ton of use. Um, I'd used a, just a little tuner um, on my phone and uh, kind of brought brought it up against uh, just a a belt sander and just kind of kept nipping off more and more until the, each note was basically in tune. So the other thing is that so this is uh, a little mallet that I bought online. It's got some hard plastic on it and a plastic stick. I made my own. So wood sounds a little softer, a little better. Um, I did order one with a rubber, like actually really squishy, a rubber top, and it doesn't work at all. So uh, I wouldn't recommend using rubber, um, but wood seems to do okay. But uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe some sort of softer plastic might be more ideal for this sort of thing um, if if I can't really figure out how to dampen it. So if anyone has any ideas on that and maybe knows what sort of mallet you would use with something like this or maybe that's okay. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm all ears. So that was pretty easy to build. Um, I think I probably would suspend these a little bit differently because they do move a little bit but they stay pretty much put. But um, Probably not the most ideal setup, but it definitely lets you um, ring out a note for quite a long time. So, and it's kind of a noisy instrument. Um, so then the other thing that I made was this uh, noise maker, and uh, I did this project with the kids. It has kind of a little, basically a gear in there that will snap against uh, this long piece of oak which I just stuck in there and glued and clamped shut and then there's just a handle so basically here's how it works and it's whoops it's really noisy I mean it's like annoyingly noisy so um, definitely a, a good noise maker 
Um, there's a quarter inch dowel going through here into the handle and just another ball like I was using for these mallets right on, on top of here with the hole drilled in that. That was probably the hardest part was actually drilling into a ball like it's, it was kind of hard getting it centered so that the drill bit wasn't uh, once once the drill even on the drill press that's what I was doing like when I tried to start drilling into the ball the ball would want to rotate so uh, it was harder than I ever imagined to try to drill just a straight you know quarter inch hole up into a ball so uh, maybe someone has some great ideas how to do that too but um, I tried to use a little kind of cup thing and still seemed to make the ball move a little bit maybe I needed some sort of rubber or something in the bottom but this was kind of fun and really noisy um, and pretty stout. It, it really swings around in the air, so hopefully the kids don't bonk each other when they when they use it, but uh, very noisy. So those are the, the two instruments that I made recently, or noisemakers, and uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas for doing stuff on your own. Appreciate you watching. Take care.